Hi Gemini, how are you doing? Let's see what messages we have for you today. What do we have for the sign of Gemini, please? Messages do we have for the sign of Gemini, please? Here we go. Four of Pentacles. Holding back, not much happening. You could be hanging on to your pennies. Queen of Cups. Mm, there is love there. A potential spouse. And we have the Six of Cups. This is the past. Message. Page of Wands. Somebody from the past contacting you. Mm, I feel you're kind of holding back because you're recovering. You've got the Ten of Swords here. You're coming out of a pretty tough cycle that you've gone through and you're recovering now. You know, you're learning to love again. King of Cups, wow. King of Cups, Queen of Cups, that's a nice match. Spiritually, that's a good connection. The Magician, communication, taking action. The Death card, this is big, big transition, new beginnings, letting the old fade away. Strength card, yeah, overcoming different beliefs, overcoming the hurt. And the final card here is the Seven of Cups, is choices here. Yeah, I do see you holding back, protecting your feelings. You're holding back your love. And I do feel that you, this person from the past, you still feel pretty strongly about. And take this out, it resonates. It is a general reading, but I am getting a lot of strong emotional feelings for this person. And that this person is taking action because, you know, because they've gone through a lot of changes and there's endings and new beginnings for them too. And I feel they're coming back around to you. <sighs> yeah, I'm getting a lot of, a lot of emotion in this. I'm feeling a lot of deep emotion. See, at the moment, you're turning your back on them. You're not facing each other. There's still a lot of pain there. I feel what this person's trying to do is switch from this back to back, face to face. That's what I'm getting with this. You know, they, they want to bring an end in to this Ten of Swords energy. I'm getting your kind of, they're going through what you're going through. There's a, I'm, I'm getting there's a soul connection here. You know, it's very, very strong. There's, I am getting connected at soul level. It's a soul, mate. That's what I'm feeling. But you, you are going to need all your strength to forgive if you want there is always free will you may not want to forgive this person you may want to turn your back and you may even get to the point of stubbornness about it i'm not judging you this is what i'm getting off the cards but i do see an enormous amount of strength character development you're becoming very very strong you're not so easily duped yeah you're holding back as i say i'm not judging you i'm sure you have your reasons 
I don't, this is a general reading, so I cannot possibly know every single scenario that's going on with different people. For that, you need a personal reading, but in this general reading, I do see you holding back. Yeah, you're, you're trying to leave the hurt and the past behind. You're trying to leave all this mental baggage behind you. I'm seeing here you're trying to heal from this properly so that you can learn to love again. Let's see what this past card's all about. The universe is bringing this person back. There is free will, yes, but the universe is given the opportunity so you can sort out your differences. It's giving you the opportunity to talk so that you can come out of this energy, heal and move on. It's giving you the choice to either move, heal the, heal the situation and move on with this person or it's giving you the choice to heal the rifts between you and just to part at least friends so and in healing the situation you'll heal yourself that's what i'm getting yeah communication messages page of page of wands ace of swords it's it's giving you clarity Yeah, you see this this cycle of ten of swords energy. It's finishing, and there's a new cycle coming in. As I say, it's it's a chance there to heal the rifts, so that you can make a clear cut decision on what it, exactly what it is you want to do regarding this person. You could decide to talk to them, have a coffee with them, or whatever. Meet, talk air your differences and then just agree to part other friends or even go forward with this yeah this person they're they're acting independently and acting confidently they are in control of their emotions but believe me they are very well intentioned and they have very very deep feelings they're hiding it you're protecting it, they're hiding it, but they're feeling it. You're both feeling the same thing, but they're hiding it. They're acting really confident and sure of themselves. You know, they're saying they're happy, which they probably are to a degree, but this, you know, whatever they are on the surface, you, you can, I guarantee underneath, they're feeling very, very deeply. Yeah, you're, you're not going to be so gullible this time. You're not going to dance to their tune. You're not going to be controlled by them. You've got the devil here and the magician. Two major arcana, but this magician has, is very wise to the fact they've gone through it. This is you going through a learning curve. You've learned from past mistakes. At the moment, you still see this as a toxic, but there's no way, Jose, you're going to dance to their tune. No, no, no. You're much stronger than that. You're come. You're. You are also acting with confidence. I feel here that they're the ones that's come to you, and you're in control. Yeah, there's, there's cha big changes in this connection. The Ten of Pentacles to me is not all, not just about the home. You know, they could want to leave the home they're in and come, come and join you. Depends on your situation. But here, this, this Ten of Pentacles to me is also about, they feel complete with you. They maybe didn't realise it at the time, but now they've lost you, they want you. 
and they want to they do want to give you everything yeah you're both seeing the connection in a different way but nevertheless there is love there deep feelings and the question is it's it's about overcoming the differences between you and healing the rift that's what i'm seeing here as i say we have this seven of cups here oh sorry i do see you taking time out to making a choice now you could even say with these cards okay let's go have a private discussion because you've got the Wheel of Fortune card here. And this choice will take you in an entirely different direction. It's to bring you into better times. Bring peace to yourself. You know, it's having quiet conversations with them, healing the rift, so that you can make a choice on your future and follow your follow, follow your own destiny, whatever that may be. I hope that's helped and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.